Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Morning Fit Club with Kylie Gates Barra. That's me. I am so excited to have you here today. And the whole purpose of this channel is to help you wake up and work out to set your, yourself up for your best day. Today's workout is HIT Yoga. It's high intensity interval training. So there's the acronym for the HIT combined with yoga. Throughout the class, we combo between the two. The first half of the class is more HIT. The second half of the class is more yoga. You're only going to need two hand weights. So I've got fives, you can use threes, you can use eights, but have those nearby. The other thing that I wanna share with you, of course, is our quote for the day. If you've ever come to any of my in-person classes, you know that I've got a jar. It's filled with hundreds of different inspirational sayings for people to take with them after class. And I wanna share that with you today. So. The temptation to quit will be greater right before you are about to succeed. There's today's. The temptation to quit will be greater right before you are about to succeed. You might want to think about that, especially during this workout. Maybe in the hit section, you might want to quit. And I'm saying stick with it because you're going to be so much happier at the end. All right, without further ado, have your water nearby, have your weights nearby, and let's do this. Okay, everybody. Facing forward, we're just going to twist the knees, take it, lift it up, and take it back. Good job. And now take it forward. Forward, just loosening up those hips. Two, three, and four. Switch right to the second side. Starting back. And then take it forward. Look at all that sunshine coming in on the rug. Good job. We're just going to start off with a march, or you can take it to a jog. Yes, I'm totally doing a hit session in front of my fireplace. I realize how crazy that is, but isn't it pretty? Look at it. Normally, we have a little love seat right here in front of the fire, and it is one of my favorite places to be in the morning. Just jog it out, jog it out, jog it out. Lift those heels up just a little bit higher. We're gonna plant the feet in just a moment and we're gonna take it to a twist. So when we do that, you're gonna tighten your belly. Four, three, two, one. Plant those feet and twist, 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 twist. So my shoulders are stacked over my hips. My belly is nice and tight. That belly button is pulled in. And bend those knees. So your heels are in, your toes are wide. Now add a punch, 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 punch. A little faster. Make that punch count. Feel that twist. Start to come awake. And like your morning coffee, actually after my workout is when I have my coffee and I love it because my workout's done, I'm feeling good, I have that sense of accomplishment before my workout, I always have a spark. It's just my favorite. If you want to know what that is, you can check the links or check in the information section below. But I love it. In four, three, two, one. Back to your jog. Just jog it out a little bit. We're going to go to a shuffle. And I'm only going to do two because if you're doing this from home, I don't know how much space you have. If we're in a big studio, usually we're going to the side for about three, four shuffles. Three, two, one. Okay, so shuffle, shuffle, smack it down. Shuffle, shuffle, hit the ground. Shuffle, shuffle, tap the ground. Shuffle, shuffle, tap. Shuffle, shuffle, tap. Now, before that tap, you can add like a big hop. Shuffle, shuffle, hop and down. Shuffle, shuffle, good job. Lateral movement. We don't always do a lot of lateral. That's why I love these. Reminds me of basketball drills. Definitely not a basketball player or a good one. <laughs> but you can pretend in this exercise. Good job. All right, next shuffle, you're gonna slap, then we're gonna jack. Slap, then four, three, two, one. Shuffle, shuffle, slap, jack. Four, three, 
two, one. You can hear me breathing hard. Shuffle, shuffle, slap, jack. Four, three, two, one. Take it low. Shuffle, shuffle, slap. Four, three, two, one. Come on. It's easier if you smile. Four, three, two, one, and we're gonna go right back to our starting position. So go right to your middle, and it's a side, so you can step it if you really are struggling with your breath. You need to catch that breath, otherwise it's hot. Side to side hot. Definitely hard to keep talking and doing this. Keep going. You're doing awesome, side to side, side to side. Imagine that there's a little line. You're just jumping over it, over it, over it, over it. Beautiful. We get to switch it up soon. Three, two, one. Back to your march or to your jog. Good job. You're halfway through your first hit session. So we'll do a version about this long again, and then we get to doing yoga. And then yoga is such a reward because your heart rate is so high. You've really earned it. I want you to take it down to your walk and grab your weights. Grab your weights. We're going to start off with lateral lunges. So toes are facing forward. Lunge it and bring it up. Lunge and up. Good job. Lunge and up and lunge and up. That knee is behind the toes. When you're in that lunge, those hips are sliding back. So it's a little sit back, sit back. Stay where you're at, I just wanna show you. See how my knees behind my toes and my hips are really far back? That's where I need you to be. You can't have any injuries because we need you here tomorrow working out with us again. Okay, on the side, a little tricep kickback. Tricep kickback. Engage the backs of the arms. Really squeeze that weight, especially with the pinky finger. Good job. You've got it. You're feeling great. You're feeling awake. 45 minutes, that's it. You will be thankful for it for the rest of your day. Now you have an add-on option. In the center, press it up. Tricep kick back, press it up. Kick back, press it. Good job. Let's see who is working out with us. Well, some shout outs. Jessica told me she did the workout and she felt great and she's proud of herself. And she said, I had to slow it down a couple times. And I want to tell you, don't feel guilty about that. Her goal, before we get out of this quarantine and life starts to rebuild back to normal, is to do a full workout without stopping or without modifying. I think that's an awesome goal. But the last thing I want is for you to feel bad about yourself because maybe right now you're just holding the weights at your side. And that is totally fine. This is your workout. Don't you worry about what anybody else is doing, okay? Two and one. Awesome job. Hold the weights to the side, the feet jack out. Out. We have a yoga coming up in only about two minutes. Just so you can pace yourself, you know it's coming. You have the option to press it up, 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 up. Totally up to you. You can hold those weights at your side if you wish. Woo! Eight, seven, come on, six, five, you got it. Four, three, only two, one. I can hear the floor shaking on that. Okay, sit it down in your squat. Your chest is lifted. See how far back the hips are and just press it. Little pulses. 
Squat pulses. Squat pulses. Take it down. Feel those quads. Feeling awake, feeling good. We've got a combo coming. Four, three, two, one. Out, in. Four, three, two, one. Feet out, in. Four, three, two, one. Out and in. My knees are still bent just slightly. One, out, in. Four, three, two, one. Out, in. Bring those weights up to chest. Out, in. Four, three, two, one. Out, in. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. Out, in. Four, three, two, one. Last one. Four, three, two, one. Out, in. Good job. Set those weights down. Come right back to the center. Give me a toe tap. So imagine it's tapping on a step, but it's just tapping in front of you. Heels are angled in just a tad. If you're not feeling that angle, you also, of course, can just take it parallel. Nice and quick. Yoga is coming. Woo! Four, three, two, one. Good job. Good job. Bring those palms down. Those feet are together. Think about those inner thighs really pressing in towards one another. Close your eyes if you can. Just look forward. And I just want you to think about that breath. Our goal is to get it to the point where we're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Beautiful. Step those feet wide and forward fold. Okay, so we've got one palm on the ground and the opposite arm reaches up nice and high. Let that gaze follow. Remember to breathe. Good job. Those legs are straight. You're feeling that awesome stretch down the hamstrings. The hand with the, the hand that is lifted, take that same leg and then bend it. Feel that inner thigh and that other leg stretch. Straighten those legs and then bend that other leg just for a moment. Good job, good job. And back to your forward fold. The top of the head is reaching down toward the floor, just holding that forward fold. How are you doing? You're doing good. Awesome. Roll yourself up nice and slow. Nice and slow. Bring those feet together. You're gonna take one foot so we're mirrored, so it'll be your left foot. Take it forward. That chest is lifted. And now bend it down. The outside arm, the arm that's in line with the front foot, I want you to twist it up. So that chest is like twisting into that thigh. And just hold it. That back leg is straight. It's so straight that you're pressing through that heel. Bring both hands down, looking at the ground, and we're just going to switch to a twist on the second side. Feel that stretch. I know that hold is a strength. You've got this. We're going to get our heart rate back up in just a moment. Three, two, one. Bring that hand down. Good job. And straighten both legs and just hinge forward. Beautiful. Bring that back leg up to meet the front. Roll yourself up. Bring those shoulders back. Beautiful. Hands 
lock behind your back, press the chest forward, press the hands back. Wonderful. Now release those hands, take them up above the head. We're grabbing the wrist and we're reaching to the side and the hips push in opposition. Bring it up top, switch the grab on the wrist and take it to the second side. We get to get our heart rate back up momentarily. I know you're excited. Bring it right back up and feet together this time facing forward. I want you to forward fold nice and slow. You can pause halfway if that's as far as you're feeling it today. If you like, take it all the way down. Just gazing at the knees and roll it up vertebrae by vertebrae. And take those shoulder rolls, shoulder rolls back. Two and one. All right, let's do this back to hit. So remember, you can play whatever music you want. This is where you get your really motivational music going, your, your rock, your classic rock, your rap, whatever it may be. I'm telling you, I have so much fun with playlists with this class in, um, in the actual classes that I teach, not in front of just a video camera, quarter hop, hop squats. So we're in a squat. See those hips are down and back, knees always behind the toes. Take it in a circle, 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 face it forward, circle. Turn, turn again, turn again. One more time, around, 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 and forward, keep it forward, keep it forward. If the hop is too much, you just lift off. Lift off your heels, it's a little lift. The toes never leave, otherwise I want you to hop it. Hop, hop, good job. We're gonna go to high knees in a moment. We'll start off walking, then we can take it to a run. I know those quads are on fire right now. Three, two, one. High knee, high knee, high knee. So lift it up. I'm just going to turn it at an angle so you can see. So they're trying to get up in line with the hips. And when you're ready, high knee, high knee, high knee, high knee. This is high intensity interval training. Woo! Got your acronym for the hit. Good job. In a moment, we're gonna take it to butt kickers. I'll start it slow so you know your modification. Hot, 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 hot. Four, three, two, one. Butt kickers. Heels up, heels up, heels up, heels up. You can take it to a run when you're ready. You are awesome. You've got this. Feel all that oxygen throughout your body. It feels so good. Your organs thank you. Your mind thanks you. This is much, as much mental as it is physical. We're gonna go to a high knee butt kicker combo for four. Remember, you can walk in or you can hop it. Four, three, two, one. High knee, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. High knee. Butt kicker, four, three, two. High knee, four, three, two. Butt kicker, four, three, two. High knee, four, three, two. Switch, four, three, two. One, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, switch, four, three, two, switch, four, three, almost there, two, last one. Awesome job, awesome job. Okay, we're going back to those squats. Down and up, down and up, down and up, down, off the heels. If you wish, if you wish, or hop it. 
So we're gonna do those quarter turns. We're gonna go the second direction. Last time if you turn left, this time you're gonna turn right. In four, three, get those hips back. Two, one, switch, switch, switch. Again, four, three, two, forward. Again, four, three, woo, two, face forward. Keep it forward. You're feeling good, you can do this. Do not quit. You're in it with me together, stronger together. Two and one. Fantastic job. Hands up on guard. Kick it forward, press it back. Kick forward, heel kick back. Forward, heel kick back. Forward, heel, forward, heel. Forward, heel. I was just turning to the side to show you that heel kick. The opposite hand is gonna punch, 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 punch. Yes, you've got it. Woo! I'm so proud of you. Guess what's coming after this? Yoga! You've been waiting for it. You've earned it. Make these punches count. Can that kick go a little higher? Four, three, two, little jog. And then we're gonna do the second side. <sighs> Give me a smile, come on everybody. <sighs> I'm so proud of you. <sighs> I hope you're proud of you. <sighs> I hope others in your life are proud of you. Three, two, one, second side. Start with kick, heel, kick. Heel, stay forward, I'm just showing you. Kick it, heel, kick, yeah, kick, kick it away. Nice and powerful. Ready for the, the opposite arm punch. Opposite arm punch. Keep it going, whoop. Yoga's coming. You are awesome. Good job. Breathe. Just a little mini, mini session here. Remember those hands up above the head, grab that wrist, take it to the side. Trying to keep that front shoulder, it might wanna twist. We're trying to keep it pulled back. All the way up, grab the wrist. Good job. Good, good job. You are amazing, you are strong, you are a warrior. We'll do those later in the workout. Keep that shoulder pulled back. Wonderful, step those feet wide just a little bit. Bring those hands in front, turn the palms and round the back. You're looking down. That back is rounded. Beautiful. All right. Mixing it up for you. I don't want every class to be the same because then it's predictable and you don't know what's coming. It was a mini yoga. We're going back to a hit. Then we'll go back to our extended yoga. We're starting off with burpees. We do them in like every hit class. Okay, so you take it down, out, in, and up. Down, out, in, and up. Sometimes we drop to the ground. Sometimes we do a push-up. Down, out, in. Trying to keep those Shoulders over those wrists, and then out in. Thinking about your out to a straight arm plank. Trying to get those hips down. We're gonna go in a circle one time. Down, out, in, turn. Down, out, in, and turn. Down, out, in, and turn. Down, out, in. One more, face and forward. Down, out, in. Awesome job. Little jab, you're doing so good. We're totally gonna do that in a minute, the other direction, and then I won't put any more burpees on you throughout the day, but I know you can do it. Three, two, one, check it out. The foot comes back, and then we lift it up, back and up, 
back and up, back. It's almost like a runner's arm. Just pull it up. Lift those shoulders on the up. Pull that knee in. Woo! I am feeling it with you. Three, two, one. Slow it down. So your toes touching, and then you pull it up. Balance challenge. Take it back to a hover, more of a plyo move, then pull it up. All four corners of that bottom foot are on the ground. One more. Good job. Switch back and up, back, up, back, up. You've got it. Slowing down in this instance almost makes it harder. Keep smiling. I know you might be thinking bad things right now, like Kylie, seriously, stop telling me to smile. It's easier if you smile. Three, two, one. All right, slow it down. So it's touching the back. It's pulling up. The shoulders are stacked. And then try. Woo, see? If you're not focused, focus on one spot. Try and keep all four corners of the foot. I tend to roll out to the outsides of my feet because I've got screws on the insides. But it's a matter of focus. One non-moving spot. There is no perfection here. Come on, you just saw me. No perfect, just real. Getting it done together. Good job. Before we do those second round burpees, and then we've got a big yoga session. Your cross chop, cross chop. Legs are straight, legs bend on the chop. Yeah, chop. Stay here if you need to. Otherwise, I want you to add a hop, a hop, hop, hop and chop. Beautiful. So proud of you. You've got this. Ready for those burpees? Said no one ever. You're ready for the feeling after those burpees. And I am right there with you. Three, two, one. Okay, down, out, in, and up. Turn second direction. Down, out, in, and up. Turn, down, out, in, turn, down, out, in, facing forward. Give me three, down, out, in, and up. Think plank, and then out. Last one, yes. <sighs> Woo! Feel your heart. Reward time. You feel so good. Oxygen in, oxygen out. You earned every bit of it. We're sweaty. It's pretty awesome and gross. At the same time, beautiful. Step those feet wide. Palms forward. Focus on your breath. Close your eyes if you can. Working to get in through the nose, out through the mouth. Toes and knees are facing forward. Hearing your body hum. So good, we're so grateful. We're doing this in a time of quarantine to keep each other healthy. We're grateful because we can, we can do this. I know it's not easy. I know sometimes it hurts, it hurts so good. But we're doing this for all those people who can't do it. All right, when you're ready, when you've caught your breath enough, I want you to take it down. Forward fold. Take that palm, so last time, it was your right, this time it'll be your left if you're mirroring, or whatever you did, just do your second side from our first yoga session and reach it up. Trying to gaze at that hand, but if it's too much of a strain, don't do it. Do not want you hurt. Do not want injuries. Maybe you're not there yet. Maybe that's something we can strive for for future workouts, which means you have to hang out with me more in the morning, which I would love. So just gaze forward if it's too much or gaze up. Bring that hand down and let's just twist to the other side real quick. Bring that hand down, go right back to where you were. And bend 
that knee in line with that hand. Feel that inner thigh stretch in through the nose and out through the mouth. And lift, straighten both legs and bend that second side. Bend that so your opposite knee is bent from the hand that is lifted in your twist. And straighten both legs. Bring that hand down to the mat. Roll yourself up. Bring those feet together. And we're going into that lunge. Second side. So the right side, right leg, if you're near a knee. You look so awesome. I am so proud of you. I hope you're feeling good and sweaty, alive and healthy. Bring those arms up. We're going to fold forward. That chest is going to come down to meet that thigh. That back leg is straight and it's pressing through the heel. The inside arm comes down to the palm. You're going to twist to the outside of the body. And then bring that palm down and twist the opposite direction. So proud of you. And take it down. You are awesome. Now straighten both legs. So that back foot's going to need to come in just a little bit. Straighten both legs. That gaze is at your knee. Both feet are parallel. In four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Roll it up. I am so proud of you. You are doing incredible. We're going to go to a chair. So start off first time, feet together and sit it back into that imaginary chair. I want your knees pressing in together, your inner thighs, your ankles, your calves, they are all zipped right up. Those arms are up near the ears, the biceps are near the ears, working to keep that chest lifted. I wanna show you from the side, you stay forward. If you can see my hips, see how far back they are? It's hard to see in front of the fireplace. And my knees are behind my toes. If you're up forward, you really could hurt yourself. Please protect those knees. Beautiful. See, we've got more yoga. You made it through the hardest of all the hit. We get the super hard stuff done. This is just as important. This is strength. This is stretch. We will do one more series of hit. It's going to be mini. It'll be like five minutes. You can do that. Okay, I want you to hinge forward so your body has become like an L. Take a leg back, take your left leg back, that toe is on the ground, those fingers are reaching forward toward me, and if and when you're ready, you're going to lift that back leg. All four corners of that Bottom foot, that front foot are into the ground. I know it's an incredible balance challenge. You're focusing on one spot. You're looking down at the ground. Your fingers are reaching toward me. And that back hip might be trying to open up. I want you to work on keeping it forward, keeping it down, keeping those hips in line. And now lift the chest as you bring that back foot down. That back foot is angled. That front foot comes forward and that knee bends. I want you to think about warrior. Those heels as if they were in line with one another. The chest twisted and facing knee. Now here, my knee tends to slide in many times and a lot of people's do. So try to keep that knee in line with the hip. And just breathe. Keeping the legs there, you're going to turn your shoulders. You're going to face the side. And now take your glance toward me, trying to keep those arms in line with the shoulders. This is where we imagine we're on top of a mountain. We're on a beach. We feel the breeze. 
we feel the sunshine, we hear the birds. We will be doing workouts in nature as soon as it gets a little warmer. It's still snowing right now. Silly. Beautiful. Straighten that front leg. Both legs are straight right now. Take that back arm. It can go down toward that back knee and then you're going to reach over. Or if you wish, it wraps around that back. Good job. I didn't realize what dark colors I had in front of this fireplace. I'm going to come over here so you can see just a little bit better. Totally my excuse because that thing's putting up heat. You're doing so great. Now, you might, your body might be wanting to curve over right now. Try to keep that shoulder lift and try to reach those hands. Good job. We're going to release the arms. Bring them to T. Legs stay straight. That weight shifts back to that back heel. Bring that front hand to the front of the front ankle and then gaze up. I know lots of twists today. As you shift those hips back, you feel that, that stretch through that inner thigh. And bring it back up. Release. Good job. We're going to do that whole series. So bring your second leg back. Reach those arms up and reach it forward. And when you're ready, lift that back leg. Remember those biceps are not up near the ears. Your fingertips are reaching me. You're gazing down at the ground, focusing, breathing. It's only a slight bend in my front knee. All four corners of that foot are there. Embrace that wobble. Don't beat yourself up about the wobble. You're building strength. You're building muscle. There's a lot of little neglected muscles that are really happy right now. They're getting used or they're mad. I choose to believe happy. Remember that hip is closed. It's not opened up to the side here. We do that sometimes. Not today. Not right now. All right. So that foot comes down. That front leg bends. Twist those shoulders to me and reach those arms up and breathe. You can take it a little lower if you wish, knowing that foot might need to go out as well because that knee is not going to go in front of those toes. Here comes the sun. Do, do, do. It's beautiful. Turn, arms in line, and gaze at me. Close those eyes if you can. Bend that front leg Feel that stretch, holding those arms. I am so proud of you. You are strong and you are amazing. And if people aren't telling you that throughout your day, I am sorry. And all the more reason, I want you to hang out with me each day because it is true. It is absolutely true and you need to hear it. Straighten both legs. We all need to hear it. And take it down. Reach it over the head. Remember that shoulder staying up and open. It might want to curl forward. You're going to keep it up. You're reaching over the head. And that hand is either reaching down that back leg or you're wrapping it behind. Feeling that stretch. Breathing. We're going to pinwheel forward to that triangle in a moment. One more inhale. And a big exhale. Lift the shoulders and take it down the hand. It can come on to your ankle. It can reach in front. The, that, the hips are pressing back. You're really feeling that stretch on that front leg. I know another twist. It's for your own good. And four, and three, and two, and one. Bring it up, everybody. I hope you're feeling great. I hope you're feeling rested. Stick with me. One more hit session. It's not going to be long. It's only going to be a couple minutes. You can do this. We're starting out on the ground. I want you to take it down to a straight arm plank. Shoulders are over your wrist, really pressing through those palms. Hips are trying to keep them down. You can lift them up. Or I'm sorry, we don't really want them lifted up. We don't want them arching down. That's really going to strain your back. You always can come to your knees. If you come to your knees, I want you to pull it forward so you feel that that core engage and you can hold there. Otherwise, plank jack. We start with step outs. Good job. And when you're ready, jack it out. Jack it out. Good job. Good job. Woo! Feels so good. You are almost done. You're 
coffee is gonna taste so much better, so much sweeter. Your mind is gonna be clear. You're gonna be able to look at all that stuff throughout the day through a fresh lens. Good job. All right, four, three, two, one. Knee in, knee in, knee in, knee in. Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. You're still in that plank, and then you can take it faster. Woo, mountain climbers, come on. We've got an awesome combo coming. Pushing each other through it, it is not easy. When we get tired, we tend to want to push back. I challenge you to pull yourself forward. Four, three, two, one. Okay, your back leg lifts up, pull it wide, lift it up, pull it under, set it down. Mountain climbers, four, three, two, one. Second side, up, side, up, under. Mountain climbers, four, three, two, one. Up, side, up, under. Four, three, two, one. Yes. Up, side. You have got this. Four, three, two, one. One more each side. Four, three, two, one. Come on. Yes. <laughs> and up and under. Mountain climbers, mountain climbers. Four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Walk your feet in. I am so proud of you. You're feeling good. You're looking good. Just a little march. We were low, now we're high. I want you to catch your balance. Focus right here. Everybody good? Grand finale. We've got three intensity options. You do what works best for you. And then we do our final yoga session. And then you go on throughout your day and you're gonna comment below, you're gonna tell me how you feel. Please, that not only lets me know I'm on the right track with videos, it helps encourage others, and they need that. So, we all do, right? Stars, down and up. Here's level one, and up, level one. Just a step out. Now level two, both feet step out. Level three, hop it up, hop it up, hop it up, hop it up, take it low, hop it up. Woo! On my birthday, I try to do as many as I am for my age. Well, I'm getting older. I almost made it there. I guess I'll have to train next year. Next year will be 43. Three, two, and one. Oh, you did it. One more yoga and then you get to turn me off. I know you'll be happy. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see a little bit better. Reach it up and forward fold. I want you to go into, goodness, trying to tuck my shirt in, into your downward dog. So your ears are between your biceps, your legs are straight. They're pressing back, press back through the heels. That weight is shifted back. Feel that stretch. Those hips are pressing behind you. Good job. Walk those feet in together. Really straighten those heels. You're looking behind you. The top of the head is on the ground. I'm gonna walk you through this vocally as best as I can because I really don't want you cranking your neck to try to see me. Take one foot, I don't care which, and reach it up toward the sky. The hip is closed, meaning that knee is facing forward, it's facing the ground. And now open up that hip, feel that twist, point that toe. You have the option, friends, if you wish, to let that heel drop. Really feel it fall back. Breathe, breathe, beautiful. Now close that hip and bring that foot down. We're gonna go right to that second side, but first 
Think about those legs together, pressing through the palms. Take that second leg and lift it up high. Remember the hip is still closed, that knee is still looking down. And when you're ready, you can open it up. Still pressing down through the heel on that front foot. But the crown of the head is still looking at the ground, trying to keep that neck in line. And then when you're ready, if and when, drop that heel back. Feel that extra stretch through the quad, through the front of the leg. You really worked it. You earned this. Go enjoy your coffee. Or, well, have water first, please. Drink a lot of water. Half your body weight in ounces each day is what is recommended. Close up that hip. Bring that foot down. Beautiful. Take it out to a straight arm plank. And with the elbows in, so you're going to be working your triceps. Slowly lower, slow, slow, slowly lower. Good job. Release those feet and bring those forearms onto the ground. Just look forward. Feel that back stretch. Those hips are pressing into the ground. Two more deep breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. I promise you the stretch is just as important as everything else, especially for protection. Breathe in, breathe out, nice sweep. Bring your legs in, we're sliding around to our bottom. We're gonna do some quick boat. So those heels are down, you're hinged back. And lift those feet, if and when you're ready, you lift the feet. Sorry, I wore such dark colors today. Didn't even think about that, see? There's no perfect, which is why you're hanging out with me. We know there's no such thing as perfection. It doesn't matter. We still do it. We don't use that as an excuse. Those legs are squeezing together. And you're really feeling that core with that hold. And I want you to just twist through the center. And twist and through the center. Only one more time. And through the center. Good job, friends. Bring it up. Face it forward. Let's do our breaths. And down and up. Big exhale. Down and up. One more. Bring hands to prayer. Bring it to chest center. And give yourself a round of applause because you did it. We did it together. I am so proud of you. I am so honored that you are here. Remember, if you liked it, to subscribe. Please comment below. That helps me as well as others. I wanna, I wanna hear how you like the workout. I wanna celebrate with you in your accomplishment for getting it done. If you hit the bell, the subscribe button, it'll tell you when new videos are posted. And don't forget, the temptation to quit will be greater right before you are about to succeed. We all just experienced that in that final hit session, right? The temptation to quit will be greater, greater right before you are about to succeed. I love you Morning Fit Club members. Have a blessed day.